Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, we'll be doing a quick review and a full unboxing of the Walmart exclusive Lord Grass figure from the Rise of the Snake Man, the venomous viper with the crushing claw. But first, we'll do a little, little uh, you know, a little recap of the figure and the packaging. We'll look at the artwork he comes with. Then we'll do a full unboxing. We'll take a look at the comic he comes with. And compare this version of Lord Grass to his classics version of Lord Grass. But first, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope everyone hits that like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you upload new videos. And please share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at Lord Grasp. Alright, so here we go. So once again, we have the Snake Men logo and the snake head and the two snakes above and the sides of the Masters of the Universe logo. Got the Lord Grasp right there, Venomous Viper with the Crushing Claw. Right there, you got the red rocks blasting around right there. The modern posing retro play. And there's old Lord Grasp in the packaging. Looks absolutely amazing. Looks really, really good. You know, if you remember in my original review, just like Terror, I you know created my own version of Lord Grasp with a variety of different figures to create my own uh, variants of Lord Grasp, which was pretty fun. I you know I love doing that. All right, of course you have that really cool uh, bubble, the snakeskin bubble, right there. Alright, awesome. Okay, turn around the back with some absolutely gorgeous artwork of some hopeful, hopeful figures to get hopefully in the Origins line like Megator here and Plasmar. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's a done deal. I think at some point we will get Plasmar, at least Plasmar, you know, in the Origins line. Because if we've already gotten, you know, Lord Grasp and Terror, you know, in our collection, then he's got to be, you know, coming very soon. You know, maybe he'll be like a, like, you know, we're still getting, you know, at some point this year, I hope, I think, you know, we're supposed to get that snake layer pretty soon, hopefully. And maybe he will be, you know, included in that, you know, it is a tier. Because it's supposed to be a crowdfunding, I believe, um, playset, I believe. Um, I don't know when that's going to be taking place, but I think it's this year. If that's the case, I think Plasmar will be a great uh, addition to that playset. But beautiful artwork right there. Now, it's really interesting what the, the image of, you know, Lord Grass, real fast, is that he's got more of a, of a bluish cape and shield around him, you know. And this version of Lord Grass, he's got a more of a greenish uh, cape on there. So, I'm very, it's very interesting uh, art choice here of colors of Lord Grass right here. Of course, he has the same function and features as that claw, like clawful. So, there he is. Nice pose right there across the other cross cell of the other figures. And we just unboxed Terror in the collection yesterday. And we unboxed Stratos and Merman from the cartoon collection. If you wish to go check those out, please do. And thank you for doing that. Alright. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox Lord, uh, Lord Grast here. Alright, hang on. Alright. Alright, boom. And there we go. There he is out of the packaging. Alright, well, pretty cool figure here. Like I said, I you know I built my own version of Lord Graft, just like Terroir. And I took a variety of different figures in the Origins Moto line or Origin to create my version. I took the the head of you know um, squeeze, you have the cape of you know scare, scare glow, of course you have the claw of clawful. And I did a variety of other things to create my own version of Lord Grass. It was a lot of fun. You know, you can check out that video. It's about a month, a month, you know, about a month or half ago. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. Okay, it was pretty fun. Now, as now here's the comic. Now, of course, real fast. Here is the diagram he comes with right here. The diagram does show you all the removable parts that you can remove from the figure safely, without damaging your figure. All the dark and gray parts right there. It's a nice touch that, you know, the Origins uh, Motel does for us collectors. All right. And here's the comic also that he comes with. So here's the comic right there. Now this comic we've seen with, you know, Terror and the Reptilix Snakeman figure. Right there. Some beautiful artwork right there. And another Snakeman we hope to get very soon in the collection was Vipor. You know, the uh, I think he's supposed to be the, representing the Snake Tower 
uh, representative of the uh, attorney of playset. So I cannot wait to take a look at him right there. So, but of course, beautiful artwork as always. All right. Pretty cool. Of course, there's the crossover once again of the other figures of this line. All right. Now, the, the items he comes with, okay, which well, is his standard shield we've seen before. Right here. So the figure right here of, of Lord Grasp. Turn my right, turn team on. Now, what's interesting is his other item. And what I mean by that is this. So, this is the other item that he comes with, which is this black and serpent's, you know, wand or staff or, you know, spear, if you wish to call it. Now, what's interesting about this is that this staff was not shown with him in the Classics version. Now, as you remember, you know, in the Classics line, you know, the Lord Grabs, Terror, and Plasma were all part of a three-pack in the Classics line. And he was not included. Lord Grabs was not included with the staff here. Terror was, okay? So only the thing that, you know, uh, Lord Grabs was, you know, shown to have only was the shield. And here it is right here. So here it is. The Classics version of War Grasp, right there, came out in 2017, and as you can see, he only comes with the shield only. Like I said, there he is, part of that three-pack with Plasmar. So I have no doubt in my mind that at some point we will get Plasmar as part of the Origins line, hopefully maybe part of that Serpent's Lair, you know, uh, playset. But there he is, front to back, side to side. Now, let me show you the... the the clacks is here. I had to use this. The see, there's that same black staff that you know, Terror was included right there. So, for some reason, the Origins line decided to give the Lord Grass figure the you know, the staff. Okay, now I thought, okay, that's fine. So, what I can do is if you know, I can always give this staff to my Terror figure, but unfortunately, Terror, which I have right here. There he is. Has an open display hand right there. Now, I'm trying to think of any figure. If you can think, think of one who has a dark purple hand like this with a gripping hand, I can, you know, I can allow him to, you know, grip the, 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 um, I guess you can hold it like that if you wish. I mean, you can't move it a whole lot, but, you know, you can do it like that. But if you know of a, of a figure that has a, a purple gripping hand, which I can, you know, you know, grip the, you know, the staff to, you know, with, you know, um, Terror Let me know. I can't think of anybody right now in, in the Origins collection besides Terror So it's very interesting that, you know, Mattel decided to change it up a little bit. I mean, which is fine, but I wonder why they did that, all right? But, you know, as far as, as, far as articulation, you know, is, you know, is concerned, you know, you got the same movement. You can pop the head off right there. You can take the the cape off. If you wish to, you know, include this cape with your Scare Glow figure, you can do that. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. But you want to pop the head back on, right there. Same articulation. You can pop, you know, from the waist here. You, can, you know, move in here. You got the same as claw feature that we've seen with, you know, with Clawful. Pretty cool. You see him with the uh, staff right here. Very cool. You can. You've been at the legs right there. Oh, oops, mine's a little bit stiff, but still. Man, there is some, man, it's very stiff, but you, woo, man. Man, something I gotta be very careful about. And it feels kind of, a little, little bit too stiff, in my opinion. But great detail. I, I will say the great, you know, the artwork looks amazing. The great detail with the, the lines, the black and the yellow looks amazing. I'm curious if you can pop this off, which I don't think you can, which I'm not going to try to. But let's go ahead and put his cape back on right there. There we go. Let's try him with his shield. I think. There we go. So all in all, a very interesting character, and I'm, I'm happy to have him in the collection. And one more figure of the Snake Men line. If I can get him properly standing right. 
There you go. It's a shame that, you know, this version of, of Terror here doesn't have a gripping hand, so I can at least grip the, the, the staff with him. I guess, you, well, I try. I almost had it right. No. Well, maybe we can do it like this. It's kind of, well, there you go. I guess you can try, you can do it like that, you know. But there you go. There is a look at both Walmart exclusive Snake Men right there. Hopefully you've been able to track them down at your local Walmart or Walmart online to add them to your collection, to the Snake Men line. I think he's about to fall. Gotta be careful here. Hang on, everybody. All right, everybody. I think we're good for now, but there you go. Very cool origin figures. Part of the Rise of Snake Men line. Like I said, I'm looking forward to getting my second version of the Necroconda figure to unbox with you guys and wipe for. And that I'm very curious when we're going to be hearing, you know, maybe San Diego Comic Con, you know. Um, I would not be surprised if they you know, make some announcements about that, about the snake, the serpent's lair. Oops. Give me one second, everybody. Sorry. Yeah, hopefully we're, we're good now, everybody. All right. But yeah, like I was saying, nope. Man, camera shy, everybody. <laughs> so let me just, you know what? Let me just get uh, Lord uh, Terror out of the way. Let's only put uh, Lord Grasp here. Yeah, like I was saying, everybody. You know, I'm very interested, very you know, about when they're going to be announcing the 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 Serpent Layer playset, which was the winner of last year's uh, fan voting. Um, you know, uh, playset, and it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a, a like like just like attorney. It's supposed to be like crowdfunding, you know, playset. So I'm very curious of when that's going to be taking place, you know, with us, you know. And I'm hoping to get maybe Plasmar as a part of that playset. Is a probably a proper tier, you know. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. You know, what you think about, you know, when we'll be getting the Serpent's Layer playset. Will you think, you know, we'll get an announcement at least at San San Diego Comic Con? Or maybe it'll be available, you know, maybe it'll, you know, show off some, some, you know, like, like, like they did with the Snake Mountain last year. Maybe they'll do that the same with the Snake, the Serpent's Lair, you know, with the playset. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case. So let me know in your comments below, you know, what do you think about that, you know. And let me know in the comments below what you think about Lord Grasp, you know. Um, compared now, I've had, now since I've had both, you know, versions out, or both figures out now, um... I can see if I can, if I change my mind, because I think originally, you know, out of the two here, I think I picked Terror as my favorite figure, you know, that has come out from these two figures right here. Um, I still, I still think that Terror, at least for me, is my favorite figure out of the two, um, you know, but these are still great figures to have in the collection. You know, what's kind of fun here, oops. Pop the head off here. You know, like you said, like you know, like I say all the time, you can uh, have some fun here. Let's put the uh, I don't know. <laughs> got the oops, got the next. So hang on. So I did, I put the the uh, the Lord Grass head sculpt on the Terror figure for a little fun here. You know, thinking about the origin line, you can mix and match, you can change it up, and you can put everything back. You know, it's all about customization, which I love about this lineup. All right. And for fun, I mean, why not? Let's put a head, put the head sculpt of the. There you go. You have the lower grass figure right there. So pretty fun, pretty fun stuff right there. All right. But there you go, everybody. There's a look at the lower grass figure, a newest member of the Snake Men line. A fun figure to have in the collection. Hope, like I said before, I hope you've been able to track him down. And he is just not being cooperative today. So I can get him properly. All right, all right. Now there you go. So I hope you guys. All right. So I'd like to take the time now to, of course, thank my subscribers. All right. Um, thank you for joining me today. All right. And sorry about this kind of, you know, with, with the figures falling over and stuff like that. You know, sometimes they, they, they don't cooperate. You know. But thank you for joining me today. All right. And I hope you, everyone hits that notification bell when I know upload new videos. And tomorrow we'll be unboxing. The movie version of Evil Lynn from the 87 movie for Masterverse. So I hope you guys would join me for that. So I hope everybody has a great Monday. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Take care. 
and have a good one, everybody.